What's up, my sussy bakas? It's your one pasta, and today we're reacting to Hunky Jake's sad origin story. I like the interview. Ooh, ah, ah, ah! Nigga sound like plenty of the apes. Get away from me, you big stinking ape! Nigga, they don't get his. Oh my gosh! Nigga sound like plenty of the apes. Nigga, get out! Get out! Get out! Get out of my room! I'm making a video before I drop kick you. That's what I thought. You sound like Planet of the Apes, and you know apes are stupid. What's that? Is that an eagle? The Jester exit. Sweet, sweet freedom. Yeah, sweet, sweet death, you mean. <laughs> Silly Ben Ben, I told you it was useless to hide. Oh, All crap. these doors will just bring you right back to me. Oh crap! Monkey Jake, what are you doing? I demand you let me go right this instant. Let you go? Let you go? <laughs> and why would I ever choose to let you go? Plan of the apes. Go after what you did to me. Nigga, they don't get plan of the apes looking at Nigga, that wasn't Mr. Beast, that was Mr. Beast! Not too long ago, I was an ordinary lowland gorilla living in the Congo. I had everything yeah, I could ever wish eight. for. Food, family, and the attention of every girl in a ten-mile radius. Girls, there he is! Oh, it's Hunky Jake! Nigga, shut up! Nigga, sound like King Kong! Shut up! I eat bananas! Wait, 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 where's some more bananas? Bananas? Where are the bananas at? And then you get caught looking for bananas. You die. Shut up! Bro, my ears! Who's the voice actor for this? Nigga sound like a person who's on steroids. Hunky Jake! Hunky Jake, due to my incredibly toned physique. Yeah, they're on steroids. A little over the top, but after a while I figured, why not just embrace it? Come on, Jake! Heck no! Heck no! They're using a voice changer. Nigga sound like like a monkey on steroids. <laughs> Ree! What the heck? I have to pause the video because I swear I heard some. But don't worry, it's just one of the children escaping. I dealt with them. Get out. Make a pose for us! Oh, a pose! Hmm. Let me pull something out and. Okay, I have a pose for you. Let me just pull out something and... And three, two. I'm pulling out some. Let me just show them. Oh, wait a minute. I'm, I'm about to edit something. And... And three, one, two, three. I think the sound effect should be Start. good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm pulling out some. I had enough. Yeah, that's. I think I edited the sound effect here. I didn't, or I did, but it should be a gun sound effect. Please, come on, you're embarrassing me. Please, we wanna. Yeah, they're on steroids. They be on crack and stuff. Those apes. Yup. Yup. I knew it. Those apes are on crack. Those apes are on crack. I knew it from the beginning. Oh, alright. They're on crack. Yes, sir. I was king of the jungle. There wasn't a No, girl you're on crack of the jungle. Mine. But the problem was, it wasn't just the ladies who were after me. Hey, ladies. Ladies. 
And then there's how you get yourself caught, Hunky Jake. Where'd you go? I've got more poses I can show you. Shut up, nigga, you're on steroids. Wait a minute, you're not a gorilla? Who are you? And you get shot. What are you doing here? Swinging through the trees as fast as I could. But unfortunately for me, Lady Luck was not on my side that day. Shoot him! Bye bye, A. But I wasn't going down that easy. Not without at least putting up a fight first. But the hunter outsmarted me. What the? I was trapped. Bye bye, A. me up, put me on a boat, and shipped me overseas. It was a long marathon. Yeah, you might go to a selling place. How are they? How are the kids escaping? Oh crap, I left the basement door open. Wait a minute. Hey. Oh, you get back here, you little rat! Okay, let me turn the. It was on the entire time. This journey. I never stepped two feet outside the jungle before. The world was a much bigger and scarier place than I ever could have imagined. The poacher sold me to the highest bidder, which happened to be a large zoo in America. So there I was, Shut playing on the age. lonely and hundreds of miles away from the only home I'd ever known. I couldn't see how things could possibly get any worse. My life was over, or so I thought. Hey, Mom, look at this gorilla. He looks so strong and tough. It turns out my physique wasn't just a hit with the ladies of the Congo, it was a hit with everyone. I was the zoo's hot new attraction. People the loved me. I was a star. From that point on, people would come far and wide to see me Oh my god. Get out! Can somebody kill him already? For my plethora of poses. And let me guess, Ban Ban saw the newspaper, and then... And you got turned into a idiot. Showered me with affection. They treated me like a celebrity. Get those flipping Randys out of here. Learned the same lesson that every young starlet must learn in this town eventually. Beauty only fades. I woke up one morning and discovered a new exhibit had been built right next to mine overnight. Apparently, a brand new animal had just been shipped in from far, far away. I hate the rhino. It was a rare African rhino. A very handsome rare African rhino. Ew! Look, Mom! Look at that rhino! Nigga, nigga! Nigga looking like that smile like he attract Riz. Nigga, you got no Riz. Nigga, gray as crap. Nigga, gray and more grayer than the gray rainbow friend. <gasps> Whoa, he's so cool! And he does not got any Riz. Oh! That day, the zoo had found itself a fresh new star, and suddenly, I was old news. No one cared to spend any time watching old Hunky Jake strike his boring old poses anymore. Yep. All anyone wanted to do was ogle at the brand new rhino. I had lost everything. My home, my audience, my fame, but I wasn't going to give up my Not without at least putting up a fight. That night, I snuck out of my enclosure and took control of the crane they had used to build the rhino's exhibit the night before. I quickly got myself accustomed to the device's control panel and then made my move. Oh, no. I was merely helping my new rhino friend escape. It was only the right thing to do, right? I mean, after all, zoos really aren't the best place to keep wild animals. Oh, no. Oh, that okay. night, as I snuck back to my exhibits, I knew that proper order had been restored. I was going to be the zoo star again first thing in the morning, and that's just how it's supposed to be. Unfortunately, the zookeepers had other plans. The next morning when they showed up for work and discovered their new prized rhino was missing, management became horribly upset. And from that point, it wasn't long before we figured out who the culprit was. Oh! Wait. They got security cameras in the dang on... There was no way they were going to let me stay at the zoo after that. They shot me repeatedly and forced me out of my enclosure. I was loaded up into a strange-looking truck. I had 
no idea where they were taking me, but I didn't have a good feeling about it. Something inside told me that I just had to escape. So I ran off into the forest, Run. unsure of what would be waiting for me out there. I wandered the forest for days. No food, no one to watch me strike poses. I was terribly no lonely. And then, finally, a miracle happened. Somebody found me. He was a strange-looking fellow. Bandit. He was all red with these pokey things on his head. At first, he seemed trustworthy enough. Hey, that is a very nice physique you have there, my friend. Has anybody ever told you you can model? He flattered me, knew exactly what to say to oh, get on my good side. Me. Then he made me an offer I couldn't refuse. Say, you know what? I've actually got a zoo of my own not far from here. You should come with me. I can make you a star, you know? So I followed him to this so-called zoo, and that ended up being the greatest mistake I'd ever make. Yep. He strapped me down under the pretense that I needed certain cosmetic procedures if I was going to live at his zoo. Surgeries that would make me even more beautiful. Now hold still. This won't hurt a bit, okay? But of course, he lied. Of course. His device filled me with a strange liquid. He turned me into a terrifying monster. Of course. <laughs> no! What have you done to me? I'm hideous! What do you mean? I turned you into a star just oh, like I no. said I would remember. Uh oh. Ban Ban, this is how you get dunked down. It was you who dragged me down here. It was you who turned me into this horrifying monster. Horrifying monster. Oh, come on now, Jake. You don't Shut up, Plan of the Apes. I think with a little bit of work, we really could still turn you into a star. Enough. I won't fall for your tricks again, Bam Bam. Oh, I'm no. going to trap you down here in this maze of doors forever. Oh, I no. Feel like poses. <laughs> <laughs> hey, get back here, bad man. Oh, no. No way, Hunky Jake. If you want me, you're gonna have to come catch me. I told you, bad oh, man. No. You can't run. It's useless. Oh, no. Come on, Hunky Jake. Come and get me. Oh, hi, Flynn. Come on, big guy. Just a little bit further. I'm just up here. Why, you little... He can stretch? I know he can sweat. Hey, wait a second. I can't move. Ah, I figured you'd eventually get yourself all twisted up. And that leaves only one door left. No, wait. Hey, man. You, you can't go. No. He can and he just did play the apes. I mean, gorilla or wherever you are. Okay, let's see about because that's all for today. If you guys want some more, uh, I'm trying to be Patrick Star. If you guys want some more game tunes, like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, my sussy box.